People, 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 what's up, what's up? It's your boy Ted Lee Gray here. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. So anyways, my people, now the regular boys, BS Color drop out of the regular arm, the U20, now qualify for the U20 championship stuff, you know? But it is what it is. Now, a future me I look towards and we have to look on the positive. Truth be told, at the under 20 levels in the CONCACAF region. And also, you know, Jamaica, even if we drop out, we always have some players who go on to do well or great. Take, for example, the Alva Spoil batch that they had Damian Lowe and some other players. We never do well at the under 20 level. And we see some of them players that come out to do well. MLS, etc., etc., and playing well for Jamaica. While other countries where the teams them do well at the under 20 level, some of the players them not carry on. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. But um, one player, Kanye Boys Clark. I think this player for me, if I have a development spot for the goalkeeper, this player for at least being a national team as a development goalkeeper. And also, I believe this goalkeeper will be. In my opinion, the goalkeeper of the tournament. If a starting level come out, regards to this championship, I think Kanye Boys Clark will get it. That is my belief. People are some biased, but I maybe I he might be as basically get it. And I think this player was the number one player for the Jamaica Reggae Boys Reggae Boys team in the tournament. And um he's one of them is for the future. So when you see me I believe another video where I believe some players who I believe are the future. Yeah, but Connor Boys Clark undoubtedly to me is a goalkeeper of the tournament and the number one player that Jamaica should be looking forward in the future for. So these are the positives I look at. So anyways people, big up on yourself. I'm out.